Hey guys, welcome back to our Discord JS tutorial. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a mute command with MongoDB. So the reason that we're gonna use uh, we're using a DB, uh, a database, is to prevent members from rejoining the server to remove the muted role. So if you don't know what MongoDB is or you haven't set it up, you should see a video pop up on the top right of your screen. Just click that to set it up. It's really easy and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so um, if you haven't watched the mute command video already, so let me just pull up these two files over here. So there's a mute.js and there's an unmute.js. So both of this is uh, took from my uh, mute command tutorial. If that makes any sense, mute system tutorial. Alright, uh, you would see the uh, video pop up right now at the top right of your screen. If you haven't got the code, just uh, quickly grab the code and get back to this tutorial. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do actually is we're going to create a model. So I'm going to name this mute.js. Okay, and then we're going to require cons, uh, schema, and then we're going to require model because require mongoose. You're going to create a simple schema and then we're just going to do a module dot exports a model I'm going to name this mute members I can't type today new schema so in here we're going to actually just passing guild a string and then uh, we're going to make a user users and then uh, it's going to be an array so you're just going to pass in all of the users id in here all right so uh we can move on to the mute.js and we just scroll down until we find the row okay just find here uh this line over line 55 and then let me just require actually you can just remove this let me just require the schema that we created earlier schema equals required dot, dot slash, dot slash model slash uh mute all right so in here we're just gonna do schema the find one guild and there will be message or guild the id comma async error data if there is no data uh we're gonna do something so we're gonna create a new data new schema guild will be um message dot guild the id and then next will be um the member users and we're gonna pass in the users let me just see what i define okay i defined it as member with capitals so member the id and then we can uh, make sure to add a save in here dot save all right okay so if else if there's no data we're just gonna do um uh data dot users dot push and then member id and you can do data to save all right that is all for the um mute js i suppose so let's just move on to the unmute js so things will get a little complicated in here so let me just copy the require uh this over here i'm just gonna paste it in here so in the remove after uh before the remove uh we're gonna actually check if the member is muted first so schema dot find one guild message dot guild dot id and then uh in here async error data if there is no data oh uh actually we can, yeah actually if there is no data return message the reply no one uh, uh member was not muted okay and then um if there is data we're gonna check if uh the data is actually true by doing data dot users so you can just do something like const user equals data users dot find index and you're gonna pass in a function right here it's gonna be prop and then a uh, prop is equals to uh, member dot id so if user value is less than zero so basically why i did zero is because if if the user if user is true it's gonna return uh, a positive number which is either zero zero and above for example uh, zero one two three okay if it's true if it's false if the pr data isn't present it's gonna return negative one 
Oh, actually, we can just do we can just check it if negative one. So if user is equals to negative one, equals to negative one, and then uh, we're just gonna return message to reply. Use uh, member is not muted. Okay, so if it's muted, we can uh, do this. So we can just do user. Uh, we can do um, data dot users dot splice. And then uh, we can do the user in here, and then uh, we can pass in the delete count, which is one. We're just going to delete one data. All right. And then, um, yeah, and then we can move this, the await member dot roles to remove. We're going to move it in here. And then we're just going to move this also right in here. All right. So this is for the unmute. Now we're going to move on to the most important step, the guild member add event. Um, so yeah, let's just create an event real quick. So if you don't have an event handler, uh, I will link a video. You will see it uh, pop up in the top right of your screen right now. Uh, if, if you don't want to use an event handler, it's, it's going to work fine if you just do it in uh, the message event. I mean, the index in your main file, which is index.js, most probably. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to require the client. Require dot slash dot dot slash index.js and then next we're going to require the schema cons schema equals require and then uh dot slash uh models slash mute so client on guild member at so every time when a guild member joins this server this event is going to get triggered so you can just do this and an async member and then const data equals await schema dot find one uh guild will be member or uh, guild id you can just do this and then um we can, we are gonna check if data so we're gonna use the same format right here where is it uh this over here so we're gonna take this uh same con constant Okay, and then we can change the member from capitals to low capitals. Okay, data users to find. All right, before this, you need to do if there is no data, we're just going to return. Okay, so we're going to find the index, and then um, if the index is over here is less than one, we're just going to return. We're going to do the same thing, but we're not going. To, oops, I actually copied the wrong thing. Um, okay. Okay, cons if user is negative one. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, and then instead of uh, message reply, we are just gonna remove this because it is in a guild member add event. You can't really send a message right now. Um, and then we can do, or we need to find a role. So we can do a cons role. It goes me member. Dot guild. Dot roles. Dot catch. Dot find. Role role dot name dot two lowercase lowercase is equals to muted same thing okay and then we can do um member dot roles dot add and then role dot id so you can test this out right now um let me just save this okay so Let's boot the bot up and let's just test this out. Okay. So uh, I mute my test bot. So I'm I mean my test uh my out account. So I mute recon test. Oh, uh, let me just see what's going on. Missing access. It doesn't have permission, so uh, we're just gonna give it admin perms real quick. Mute recon test. Recon test is now muted. So you can see here, recon test now has the muted role. So if I go to my out account, let me just send a invite link to my out account real quick. Copy, and then I'm just gonna send it over here. Okay. 
and then I'm gonna head at, head back to my main server. So if I go to my all account, I can talk because um this is basically keeping the role, so it doesn't really matter if I can talk or not. So I'm just gonna leave the server. Okay, as you can see here, right now I have the role. If I leave the server and rejoin, I leave server and I rejoin. Right now. Okay, let me see if there is any errors. Okay, the role isn't added. So let me just see. ID is undefined. Okay, I spelled this wrongly. Really a big error. So uh message to ID, make sure you spell that correctly. Yeah, that should be it. So let me see if I Okay, so let's just restart this bot. Okay. Um, I made a small typo. So let's mute the our account again. Okay, I mute the our account. And the account has the role. Okay, just make sure that uh just keep in mind that this is actual muted role. Uh okay, and then if I leave the server and then I rejoin the server. Okay, as you can see here, the role actually stays. Okay, um, and if I run the Y unmute command, recontest. Oh, did I save the data? I don't think I saved the data. Yeah, I forgot to save the data. So after the splice, just go to data to save real quick. Okay, and then let's just restart the bot. Um, just make sure to add the data, data to save to save the data after unmuted. So if I unmute the uh my our account, why unmute recontest? And as you see the role actually gone and then um when my our account rejoined the server, it wouldn't add the role back because the data should be deleted. So let me just test this out. If there's any errors with this. Okay, as you can see there's no role. So let me just demonstrate it one last time because it was really messy few times so let me just why mute recontest okay and you see how the role is added so if you go to my all account and I leave the server leave the server and then I rejoin the server I should still get the muted role because I am currently muted okay as you can see here muted role and if I do the why unmute command why unmute recontest Okay, and then as you see, there's no roles. And if I rejoin the server, uh, rejoin the server. Okay, as you see, the data has been deleted, and the role will be added. So just keep in mind that um, if you want to use the mute command, make sure that um, you use it on the same bot. So let's say if you mute a user on your bot, you make sure you want to make your bot to do the unmute. If you make another bot to do the unmute, the data won't be deleted. And then if the member rejoins the server, the mute uh, role is going to get re-added, if that makes any sense to you guys. Alright, so that should conclude today's video on the mute command with the database. If you want to watch more videos like this, stay until the end, you will see a playlist. You can click on it and then you can see uh, tons of videos. So yeah, other than that, have a nice day. See you again in the next video. Bye!